So this video is going to take you through how to um, create a network diagram from a floor plan because uh, we haven't done too many examples of this. Mostly we've looked at maps. So I'm going to show you how to do this. We've got here um, a floor plan of a farm and we're going to have a look at this situation on the farm. Um, this could just as easily be rooms in a house or something similar where you're taking a floor plan situation. Now on this floor plan, we have some paddocks marked and we've also got some gates. So those gray blobs I've drawn on there are representing gates between the fields. So obviously to get from one paddock to another, you need to go through a gate. So this could be set up to ask you the sorts of situations about maybe getting um, the, the cows from the shed to the paddocks in the fastest way, or maybe they're in a particular paddock and you need to move them to another one and rotate them around, that sort of thing, and find those links. So you'd need to be able to set up a network diagram. OK, in this particular situation, you want each of those paddocks to be your nodes. So I'm going to set up some nodes like this. And it's a bit rough and ready because I'm just drawing it out for you. Um, but this is what you would do in your task anyway. So you would draw your nodes on and probably not over the top of your floor plan. You'd do them separate, but I've got the luxury of being able to delete the stuff underneath. Um, so I'm doing it on top. And I'm also going to create a node for the cow shed as well, because we've got a gate through that paddock between the cow shed and um, yeah, from the cow shed to that first paddock. So then we put in edges anywhere that we've got a gate, we can add an edge. So we have a gate through here and one here. And I'm going to carry on just adding edges everywhere that there is a gate between those paddocks. So then when we take out the picture underneath, we're just left with this network diagram in the end and we can do whatever we need to do, whether that's traversability, shortest paths or minimum spanning tree. So thanks for watching. Hopefully that was useful to you and you can go ahead being able to make network diagrams from floor plans. And if you found that helpful, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and turn on your channel notifications. Thanks. Bye.